Hello, welcome. This is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan doing one of my midweek live streams. If you're not already familiar, I stream regularly every Friday. And I mean every Friday. It's going to be a weird exception if I don't. Every Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I, I like to do one midweek live stream. And Tuesday happens to be a pretty um, common day. I like to come on earlier to get some of the European people who are usually asleep unless you're staying up to like dawn or, or four in the morning partying as some of you guys have been in the past. But yeah, anyway, here I am Tuesday night. I wasn't exactly planning a live stream tonight, but um, some of you may have seen I, in the past, like it was actually an hour ago, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, a video that I um, shot last week, I think, um, it's a Thursday or Friday and edited um, yesterday uh, about Joe Rogan. I thought I'd do a compilation of some of Joe Rogan's just stupidest things he said over the past um, five odd years about veganism. Just stupid misinformation about veganism. And the funny thing is, the reason why I'm doing this live stream is um, there's a lively chat happening in the uh, premiere, which we did at 5 p.m. You know, it's like a live stream, but it's not a live stream. It's a, the new video. Anyway, there's a healthy discussion before the video even launched at 5. People thought they knew everything I was going to say. I'm calling for censorship and whatever all this stuff and I, I want to make a video uh, I want to answer these people in real time rather than just chatting away so hopefully we'll have some Joe Rogan stands come here I tried to attract Joe Rogan stands with the title they said all sorts of crazy stuff about how um, how f about free speech how horrible f being against free speech is yet they wanted to limit my free speech saying why are you even making videos about Joe Rogan I go I thought you were just pro free speech like a second ago and now when it comes to me be able to exercise my right to voice my opinion on my social media all of a sudden free speech is is null and void it, uh, free speech only works for Joe Rogan or something like that so anyway I would love to have some Joe Rogan stands come on hopefully they however they heard about my um video from an hour ago hopefully they'll hear about this live stream so let me know guys i see uncles here already let me know guys if you see any joe rogan stands pop up in the the um, live chat here that i may have missed because i really want to talk to some joe rogan stands because these guys are complete works they you know they 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 want to shut me down they don't want me to talk about joe rogan they go why are you even making videos about joe rogan one guy asked has joe rogan ever made a video about me i first of all i said i wish i wish a hundred billion people would hear about our channel. But secondly, does that mean I only can respond to people who make a video about me first? Like, it's like a chicken and egg. Like, like, like why would he make a video about me? Because if I didn't make a video about him first, you know, no one would ever respond to anything. It's just complete nonsense. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions about Joe Rogan or free speech or anything like that, or veganism or want to debunk veganism, We'll take it, but yeah, I'm I'm here and waiting for Joe Rogan stands or people that think I'm some kind of um, um enemy of like being able to speak your mind on social media, which I've been doing for since, since like before our YouTube channel. So I'd love to, I'd like to see um see what people have to say about that. Okay, I've already talked. I don't want to get in too many hot button topics. I know you're not a Rogan stan, but um. Uh, my, my opinion is, uh, yeah, you should be really careful if you're using racial epithets that are not your own. Like me, I call myself some like naughty Chinese things, sometimes in private around Angie, and they're usually inside jokes. But if any other human were to say that, I heard him say it aloud or about me, those are fighting words. You know, that's some effed up S. That's some hate talk right there. So, yeah, anyway. Um, okay, Peter, on a different topic, you're on uh, Ench Herbivore's live stream, and he said... If I ever came to UK and went to the vegan camp, he would host you at his house after. Cool. Yeah, I don't know when we'll ever make it to the UK. I would really love to go there. I have um, family from there. You guys know I'm mainly Chinese, but I, my other one third or one quarter is from England and, and Wales. So I do want to go and visit my ancestral areas at some point in the future. But yeah, we're not doing any big traveling right now. Biggest problem is... Um, um, cats. We have no one trustworthy to watch our pets for long trips right now, or even short trips for that matter. Our cat sitter who we relied on, and she was so great for like maybe five years or so, she moved during the whole COVID thing away from Long Beach, so we don't have anyone. Yeah, Kay, I know. Joe Rogan spreads all kinds of misinformation. And I, my specialty is vegan misinformation, not putting out vegan misinformation, but identifying vegan misinformation and responding to vegan misinformation. So anyway, 
So what is up, guys? Yeah, Uncle, we just heard um thunder like right when I was going on. I guess Angie asked, is that an airplane or thunder? At first it rained, then we heard thunder a few times. So yeah, weird late in the day um lightning and thunder showers going on right here. Um So anyway, um let's see if we got any questions that I miss there. Yeah, Peter, yeah, Joe Rogan doesn't know about me, but that's so stupid. Like the guy said, well, the Joe Rogan stand said, well, has Joe ever made a video about you? Like, what does that have to do with anything? Why would he make a video about me? And only then, and only then, only if someone makes a video about you, am I able to, to respond to him? No, if someone says some something stupid about veganism, since my specialty is responding to anti-vegan misinformation, I'm going to make a video about it. I don't have to wait for the blessing of a Joe Rogan fan to make a video responding to him. What the hell? Tom, you just watched my new video on Joe Rogan. Cool. The amount of misinformation Joe spreads all his millions of people. It's so sad. Imagine if it's pro-vegan and he uses his platform for good. Instead, he uses it to say that vegans... Uh, are all sorts of horrible things. We don't have enough male sex hormones. We don't have um, uh, diets that work in without taking tons of supplements, even though I showed Joe takes tons of supplements. Um, the plants have feelings and that Fs with vegans and all this stuff, just all this nonsense. Crop deaths, the combine harvester argument. Yeah, he just spreads a ton of misinformation, Tom. And that's why I made the video there. <laughs> yes, I only exist if Rogan smokes DMT. <laughs> yeah, healthy living with Chris. We can totally say Joe Rogan is a poopy head. I give you and everyone my blessing. We can all say Joe Rogan is a poopy head. I have to admit, I, I've said worse about Joe Rogan than him being a poopy head. Let's see, Jordan, let me show your comment there. I don't know why I hit moron. I'm going to show your comment there. Um, Jordan, you said, yeah, Joe is a guy who literally used to believe the moon landings were faked. Really? Like, so he's one of those conspiracy theorists. And Bigfoot was a thing. Um, maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Who knows about that? But the moon landing was shot, you know, like, like what's happening now in all these, uh, like space explorations. Anyway, um, let's see. Ramsey wants to know, why did Joe Rogan not leave the entire show up or Wilkes debated Chris are you kidding I am not I'm not aware of this are you sure about this Ramsey that it's like it was like a five and a half hour episode are you saying it, it's gone now is it gone you can't watch the entire episode where James Lightning Wilkes kicked the living crap out of Chris Cresser not using his fists and feet but using logic science facts and evidence are you saying that is gone well let me know Ramsey that is news to me if so that might hmm Free speech, huh? Like, you know, like what happened to Lightning Wilkes having the freedom to show all of Joe Rogan's fans that all the anti-vegan misinformation that Chris Kresser, who Rogan's held on a pedestal forever, like Chris Kresser's like, God, whatever he says is true about nutrition, that he, you know, Kresser didn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> um... How do we grow crops without animal fertilizer? Um, I grow food here. I've been growing food here for like 20 years without ever using any animal fertilizer. Um, just for instance, if you, you know, you, you could um, use um, seaweed. I, I talked to one of my farmers that has completely organic grow, um, a citrus farm in Riverside County. And they use um, yeah, some kind of product of decomposed seaweed or something like that. Look up veganic farming. It's a thing. You don't, it's a myth that you need to have like animal poop to grow food. I mean, I guess it works, but um, even in the Monsanto um, model of agriculture, which I'm not a big fan of, it's not, a, a, it does, you don't have to have good soil. In fact, it's a chemical based system. You can have crap soil. I mean, not little crap soil, but just like rocky, cruddy soil. And as long as you put the Monsanto chemicals in for its nutrients and, and um, herb killing things and all that, you'll be just fine. So yeah, you don't really need to put poop. I don't think Monsanto protocols demand poop on the soil. So Ramsey, back to that Joe Rogan Lightning Wilkes episode, you can only watch like 30 minutes of it? Joe Rogan didn't leave up whole episodes. Is that just for that one or many? Maybe when he switched to Spotify, he lost some of his old episodes. Let me know. Is that something that just happened to that um, one particular episode or is it something that happened to many episodes? Just curious if he singled out the one time a vegan went on a show and just shined. Curious if that, or is it just a, 
it's just a consequence of Rogan having to remove maybe many shows when Spotify took him over. Simple Sam, is it normal for kids to be vegan? What do you mean by normal, Simple Sam? I mean, normal in the sense of like maybe 3% of Americans are vegans. By that definition, no, it's not normal. But is it safe? Is it nutritionally adequate? Well, look at the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. As long as it's an appropriately planned diet, they're not doing something ridiculous. Yeah, um, but is it normal? No, it's not normal. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means most people aren't vegan. Hey, Sarah, how's it going? What's that, Rich? I think Joe's alpha male ego and self-image overrides his opinions on veganism for more than any, any other reason. Um, it's just so ridiculous that he has this alpha male ego thing when he has like naturally low testosterone levels. Like someone like me, that which which who has high T levels, I don't have to project this overcompensated false sense of masculinity. But it sucks. Like young kids don't know that. They believe the 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 fake act and all that stuff. You know. Anyway. Well, simple sum, you meant natural. What, again, what do you mean by natural? Is it natural for kids to be, I'm not sure you mean by natural, like, or versus unnatural? Let me know, Sam. I'm not sure if I understand your question. Or help me out there. Um, let's see, so Ramsey, you think he removed that one episode with Lightning Wilkes, um, in particular, not just in a whole bunch, but in particular because it was bad for his agenda. Um, but yeah, it'd be cool if you, yeah, check and let me know next time, Ramsey, if, um, Joe, um, removed other videos or at least shortened them down from five hours to like 30 minutes, because I don't know what 30 minutes he left up there, but I have to say in that five and a half hour video, the first hour and 15 minutes was kind of boring. It wasn't until after that, that the gloves came off and the lightning started flying. Ooh, I've used a lot of metaphors there, lightning and gloves, you know, anyway, um, yeah, a toady fan. Yeah, Rogan has low testosterone levels. Watch the video I just released today. He started getting a testosterone replacement therapy um, 14 years ago at the age of 40. So already 14 years ago, age of 40, he had low testosterone levels. And unlike myself, I showed mine um, from last year. I got him at age, um, the test was at age 53 or 54. And mine are like that of a 28-year-old. So yeah, he has low testosterone levels. But here's why I call him out. He has, he's such a hypocrite. He's saying that vegans, I, won't, I can play the quote there which uh, with like so low saturated fat and dietary cholesterol it's bad for your sex hormones you can't produce your sex hormones bull effing crap low um low rogan i should call him low rogan instead of joe low rogan has trouble producing male sex hormones obviously um i don't think he has low testy soon man but he's definitely got um low um low um testosterone yeah, it means it was low to begin with, Toadie Fan. He said, uh, let's play the video. Um, I'll, I'll show you exactly what he said about testosterone. Um, okay, here it is, right here. Hey, this is Ryan of let Happy, me know Healthy, if the, Vegan. So anyone who's been following... Actually, let me know. I've changed some settings. Let me know if the volume of the video here is too loud or, or too soft or just right as I find the testosterone section here. Um, okay, anyway... And as you'll see here, my testosterone levels are pretty much right in line for a guy in his mid to late 20s, the testosterone producing prime years. Testosterone replacement therapy, hormone replacement therapy, I started doing all that when I was 40. Oh really, Joe? So you've been taking testosterone replacement therapy for about 14 years now? You started when you were 40, so you're already low in testosterone at age 40? Remember. I'm 54 and my levels are, you know, great for a guy that's like 28 years old. So does anyone else see the blatant hypocrisy? Add a little bit of testosterone. First it was cream and then it became injections. And then you get to a point where you're, you have the hormone levels of a healthy young man. Which is exactly I have, Joe. So you see, he had to add all this um, treatment, Joe Rogan, to get the levels of a healthy young man, which implies, or which means, he did not have the levels of a healthy young man. So, um, I mean, therefore, you know, he's not, he didn't have the high, the high, robust testosterone levels of a healthy young man, which are the same levels of mine. That's what I was trying to point to you, um, Toadie fan. But anyway, thanks for letting me know the volume sounds well. Um, Kareem, hope I'm well. Yes, thank you. Um, how do I ensure I stay hydrated? 
Do I have a routine? Do I drink one liter? I don't measure my water or anything like that. When I wake up in the morning, I go and pound like a, a few cups of water. I'm thirsty. Um, I go to the gym, I've got my coldest water bottle. Today I got my coldest water bottle right here. I drink water all the time. It's just like, um, I, just, you real, I just kind of realize, like say I'm working at my desk, I don't have any water. I've been here an hour and a half editing video or music and I realize I'm thirsty. I'll just go walk and get some water. So it's not like um, I have to force myself. i just aware of my thirst levels or lack thereof and, and, and quench that thirst. <laughs> I don't, maybe Joe just has a big head. I mean, I think um, proportionally my head is bigger than average. You know, some people think, oh, my body's small. Just all they see is my head, you know, on these videos. Like, no, I just have a bigger head than normal. Doesn't, doesn't just, you know, it's bigger than the normal proportion would be. Some people, it just happens. I don't know what it means. Um, let's see. What's that, Uncle Walt? Has Rogan talked about if he had erectile dysfunction as a reason to get testosterone treatments? No, he didn't. As far as I know, he didn't discuss anything about that. And if he did have ED, I really doubt macho alpha male fake projecting Joe would um, really admit that to his millions of viewers, right? That would just be like a, a, a diss to his masculinity. I don't think he wants to... He, he can't, I don't think he can be vulnerable like that, uh, being completely transparent about things like that with his audience. So it would just wreck his image and wreck his income. He has to be the, the powerful Joe Rogan, right? <laughs> That's funny, Jordan, your description of Joe there. Hey, Steve. I remember Steve. He was one of the um, people giving us crap in the um, live chat of the video premiere even before the video started. So Steve, here's your opportunity to ask me questions. If you want to um, um, reconsider and um, position yourself a little differently than what you're saying earlier, you have your opportunity here. But what are you saying, Steve? I have nothing against free speech. I just have an issue when someone calls for censorship. Um, did you watch my video? Um, Steve, I, I, how can people have so much trouble understanding um, like comprehension? Let's go to where I clearly said but I've never had any testosterone for over 14 years, I said about veganism over the years. And I want to make it totally clear, Here. I'm not calling for Joe Rogan to be canceled or banned or anything like that. I just believe since especially has such a large following, he should have a higher commitment to truth, maybe do some fact checking. Before that's what I'm calling. I said, maybe, here's my solution. I'm proposing maybe Joe, before opening up his big round mouth and saying some bull crap that's completely Looney Tunes about veganism, maybe he could do some fact checking before he says, oh, vegans don't produce enough sex hormones or vegans are eating plants that are screaming. Just whatever, do some fact checking. That, that, if you call that censor, I said perhaps. I didn't say he must have a fact checker on staff or anything. Like I said, maybe you do some, it would be a better show if he actually reported truth. Would you not agree? Or would he, does he have a better show just making up freeform jazz, seeing whatever comes off the top of his ayahuasca brain? Like you, you let me know, Steve. That's, uh, that's all I said. Perhaps he could do some fact checking. How is that? in the same ballpark is calling for cancellation or censorship. They're, they're not even comparable. I said, maybe, perhaps he could do some fact checking. I don't know why everyone's coming on, on to me as being like a an enemy of, of, of being able to say, you know, one, within reason, like you can't say fire in crowded theater, you know, this, you know what, what's, I don't understand how I'm an enemy of free speech if I ask for maybe some fact checking. Yeah, Angie points a good point. Yeah, she just texted me here. Yeah, maybe Joe could spend some of that hundred million dollars he got. Maybe invest like half a percent of that into fact checkers. Um, what was misleading about the video? Let me look at the title. Um, what did I say? Joe Rogan keeps lying about veganism, which is a true fact. Should Spotify do something? That's just a question. I didn't. If I entitled it, Spotify should do something or Spotify must censor him or something like that, you'd have an excellent point in, in calling me an enemy of free speech. I just asked if Spotify should do something because a lot of people have been saying that about his other misinformation, you know, the, the other stuff, you know. Um, I asked, should Spotify do something? And I clearly answered the question at the end. I said, no, but maybe they can convince him to maybe hire a fact checker, maybe. Like I said, they gave him a hundred million bucks. I don't see why he couldn't spend maybe 
fifty thousand dollars a year on a guy to fact check every episode or something like that just saying it seems like a, maybe spotify they'll hire him a spot ch- a fact checker if anything so anyway um no videos all the time have questions posed to them doesn't mean that you agree with the question or disagree it's just a question right is uh, it, I mean, here's a, a greater question for you guys is it wrong to title a video with a question like this especially if you answer it very clearly in the video let me know guys i'm gonna wait to see your um your answers here i want to see if you guys think that somehow a title like what i had oh let's see um ah a title like what i had for this video is somehow wrong or bad i mean it sounds like steve might want to censor my free speech i think i've ever do let me know guys do i have every right to title a video like this is there anything misleading about a title like this especially given the fact like i said i clearly answered the question made no ambiguities about where my position is on this so let me know uh, if i if steve is right that this t- a title like this should be like censored or changed or something like that Okay, Jesse doesn't, I didn't think the title's misleading. Again, given the fact that I answered the question unambiguously. <laughs> I'll let that comment go through, Car- Camaro Squid, because I think you're right. Okay, I just Steve has a problem. Steve, not just Steve, I should say Steve and the Joe Rogan stands had a problem with this title. Like I said, they were just going off before the video ever launched. They go, watch the video because you're going to be like a stupid effing idiot once you see the video and, and hear what I say about this whole thing. You know, <laughs> anyway. Um, Okay, oh no, Antonio, you don't think it was misleading? I don't think so either. Apparently, Steve doesn't like it and wants to, like, control my speech. You see what I'm saying, Steve? You're kind of getting on slippery slope territory here. If you're very pro-speech for Joe, and how about me? I have every right to have something that might be a little provocative, because Joe certainly has stuff on his show that's extremely provocative, saying that plants are screaming. (laughs) Anyway, um... All right, so, um, okay, RX Dr. Daddy, are you, I'm just curious, I, I, I don't remember, you're not a Joe Rogan stan, are you, anyway, if we have any Joe Rogan stands, please ask questions, I just put out a video, it seemed to upset some Joe Rogan stands, um, but anyway, yeah, if Joe Rogan stands here, you got me right now, we'll answer your questions. The only thing wrong with the title of the extra S's, let me see, Joe Rogan, oh, I did have a typo, oh my goodness there. Thank you. I have a typo in the title. I'm going to fix that right now if I can. Wow. Um, All right, man. I think I could do it on this computer. I'm not on my main one, but I think, yeah, I'm in YouTube studio. Let me fix that typo. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, I did. I did rush the video. Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. You know, I did play around with the um, order of words. So um, the title is now fixed. So Joe Rogan keeps lying about veganism. Should Spotify do something? All right, handled. All right, thanks for pointing that out. I appreciate that. I do make uh, grammatical errors sometimes, but it's because I'm playing with the title, moving things around. And um, yeah, thank you. I do know my grammar. I taught, um, I've taught grammar at a point. Um, Frank. You wanted to ask a question. Didn't the good Lord give us dominion over animals to love and eventually give us health? Um, um, I don't know. I mean, does that mean killing them? I'm not sure, Frank. I'm not sure where you're getting at that. Let me know. Cause I'm, I'm a Buddhist, so I, th- it doesn't really matter to me what was said in there. But I respect the, t- the, the scriptures of other religions. I'm totally cool with them. But um, that, to me, dominion doesn't mean kill and, and, and slaughter. If you look up the definition of dominion, let's look it up really quickly. Um Let's see. Oh, ooh, wrong. Oops. God, what I do here? Yikes. Um, all right. All right. Let's get to the right browser here. I have two open right now. Dominion. Let's look up the definition of dominion together. Um, um, not that kind of dominion. We're looking like dominion in the biblical sense. Um. Let's see. 
the power to rule that's like that kind of dominion um how come what's the word i'm looking for maybe i'm looking to have the wrong word here huh what's the is that the word that's often used is dominion i'm having a, a, a vegan brain fog right now it's real vegan brain frog is real um chick magnet um what I skipped your question. Three are vegan, by the way. Ask it again. Yeah, I want to let people know if I skip your question. I'm just human. I don't see every last question. I miss a lot of stuff. So ask again. Yeah, I think you can't paste it like it really quickly. You might have to be like a 10 second wait or something like that. But paste your question again. Or you can always leave a super chat tip too. And that'll get it front and center. But yeah, yeah don't take offense to anyone if I don't see your question. Yeah, I know there's the doc, um, the DACO um, dominion, but I thought, um, <sighs> oh well. Anyway, um, yeah, Jill, there wasn't a slaughterhouse in the Garden of Eden, that's for sure. Um, No, V, thank you. No, I, 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 I can proofread text as well. And I just blew it just by, I was trying to get, I edited that video and I wanted to get it out this afternoon, playing around with the title. So thank you, V Lamb, for pointing it out. Once I read it, yep, yep, I have too many S's there. You got it. Um, Rx Daddy, yeah, well, whatever. Maybe Joe's talks um, authoritatively and full of facts and truth about other topics. Like I said, I don't watch his top uh, his podcast. I've never liked the guy. I never watched Fear Factor back in the day. I never related to Joe in any way, shape, or level. It's just not my kind of bro. So yeah, maybe he speaks truth and articulately and intelligently and with fact on other topics. But I know for sure when it comes to veganism, full of crap. Um, demonic gaming domain. Um, not heard about that video of, of ads. I haven't seen it yet. Um, I haven't watched an ad video for a little bit. I haven't watched too many other um vegan channels for a little bit actually. Nothing about Ed, but I do enjoy his content for sure. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Um. So yeah, where are some more Joe Rogan stands? We're not getting the stands tonight. Like, yeah, what's up, Angie? Said that you sh I should go on and talk to the Joe Rogan stands tonight, and they're they're not really here. <laughs> yeah, Jesse Twelve Stream. Just weird how how people seem to think Joe Rogan is an authority on everything. Um, he's so out of touch with veganism. That we know. Yeah, if he talks about martial arts and fighting, I don't know. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. I have no freaking idea, you know. But um, when it comes to veganism, <laughs> I know for a complete fact, pretty much 100% of everything that comes out of his mouth is wrong. I mean, factually wrong, conceptually wrong, every kind of wrong. Um, I don't know, Uncle Walt. I didn't hear about a Mexican avocado ban. Please tell me more about that. Oh, why would Joe Rogan bring on vegan activists for? All he would do is try to debate them. But that'd be awesome if he had someone like Earthling Ed on. Hell, I'd even go on his lousy show. <laughs> What's that, RX Doctor Daddy? Nobody thinks he's an authority on anything. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is when he speaks about veganism, he's completely not an authority. Yeah, Jesse, I'd go on as the our 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 a self-elected vegan cult leader here. I'm a vegan cult leader. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, Chick Magnet, is this your question here? Um, you have a pretty good source that may prove the Sermon on the Mount. I'm not sure what that is exactly. Included 10 loaves of bread and 
mistranslated sense of common loaf of bread was shaped. Oh, when he made the the bread and the fish, that 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 that's um story. That's what you're talking about there. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um yeah, Optimus Primal, I'm a vegan cult leader, huh? Um Hey, Dodge Guy from Ohio. Good to see you from Ohio there, Dodge Guy. I'm glad you're enjoying the channel. Awesome. Um, let's see. What are you talking about, RX Dr. Daddy? No, he doesn't. And you literally can't point to anything. What? What is that? What is that in rela relation to? I'm not sure I understand. Um, let's see. What's this, Tina? We're getting political here, huh? I'm pretty sure some left-wing wackos pressured Spotify to take down a bunch of his videos over COVID-19. Misinformation, but anyways. I'm not sure what you're, you're trying to sit, get at there, Tina. I, uh, I'm not no part in any kind of takedowns, left-wing or right-wing or middle or whatever. I just said maybe Joe could um, invest a little bit of his time and money into maybe fact checking before he opens up his big mouth and just spews off a bunch of complete misinformation that may affect millions of people from ever being open let alone going vegan but you know they're just turned off from veganism they think i don't want my testosterone to drop i don't want to kill screaming plants with my bite my mouth you know Jill, um, Joe brings on experts that tell the truth. Um, some might be experts that he brings on, and some may tell the truth. But I've shown Joe brings on plenty of, of just hey, knuckleheads Ryan of that Happy just Health. speak nonsense, like um, like this. Like, how is this the truth here? Um, let's see, where'd it go? Cresser to tell us how to be healthy vegans. Remember, Chris Cresser is very anti-vegan. If you have, if you're a vegan and you're eating a vegan diet, you need to have a perfect vegan diet to be healthy. You need to know what you're doing in terms of supplementation and how to meet the nutrient needs that aren't being met through diet. Oh, really? I mean, how is that an expert? Chris Cresser is not an expert. In fact, James Lightning Wilkes got Chris Cresser live on the Joe Rogan debate to admit that he's not an expert and to sh and have Chris Cresser admit, I think, three times that bull crap he's been saying about veganism was just factually wrong. So, um, yeah, Joe might bring on some experts, but he brings on some knuckleheads like Chris Cresser who think they're experts but just spout unsupported misinformation and when presented with the actual evidence in real time, have no um, honorable thing other than do and say, yeah, I made a mistake. He just had, had to say that three times. So yeah, maybe he brings on experts, but he brings on knuckleheads too. Yeah, Tom, have a perfect vegan diet, lol. So all of us here, Tom, that um, are um, vegan long-term and not like dead, sick, and dying, we must, unbeknownst to ourselves, have a perfect vegan diet or else all these horrible things would happen. But yeah, how about all the people, like you're saying there, Tom, that are overweight, need it, like fast food and processed junk every day? They're okay, but if you're vegan, you have to have a perfect vegan diet. But for a non-vegan, you can have a really imperfect crap diet and everything's cool. Demonic um, gaming domain. You can only afford to live off beans, corn, bread, potatoes, and veggies, and you're not dying. I guess you have a perfect vegan diet, demonics. That's what I'm saying. Any vegan who's long term and not dying must be doing a perfect vegan diet, according to the expert that Joe Rogan had. Yeah, Peter, if you eat McDonald's, no worries, you know? But a vegan diet has to be perfect. This, this is the expert, the health and nutrition expert, the science expert that Joe Rogan relied upon for years and years. And I, I before Lightning Wilkes came and thrashed him, I made many videos just just showing how how what Chris Cresser is saying is just factually wrong. It was so satisfying. You guys don't know how happy and satisfying it was to see Wilkes just do what I've been wanting to do, be there in real time and show Cresser what a line POS he is. Uh, 
Um, chick magnet. Oh, here's your question. All right, finally get to see it. Your question is how I respond to the claim that plant-based diets are deficient in vitamins due to today's crappy soil quality. That means, are they, I love that one. That means like all soil all across America and the world is all of the equal, an equal kind, all deficient in the same minerals or something like that. No, some soil's really good, some's bad. Um, the, the thing is, if there are really no vitamins and minerals to be found in, in plants, um, it would say so. Go to like databases, nutritional databases like Chronometer. It'll show you what kind of vitamins, minerals, micronutrients and all that are in a potato or whatever. Uh, maybe there were more minerals, vitamins and micronutrients 100 years ago. I don't know. But all I know is there's stuff in it now. I mean, what are they thinking? There's nothing in it anymore. I mean, all the vitamins and nutrients and minerals are just gone or something. They're still in there. And if, um, if these people were right, saying all the vitamins vitamins and minerals and nutrients are gone because of bad soil um well we'd all be sick and deficient but you know if you can get your blood tested and you can pretty easy to tell you're not deficient and stuff go to get a checkup of the doctor they'll tell you if you're you're on death's door or something like that so that's complete nonsense yeah some soils are depleted true due to bad agricultural practices maybe the soil already sucked when they started there it doesn't mean all soils everywhere are bad and it doesn't mean plants are devoid of nutrients it's it's just ridiculous yeah take b12 which doesn't need to be filtered through an animal jesse thank you for that um Yeah, good point, Zeppelin. Yeah. Instead of spewing a bunch of pseudoscience or these anti-vegans that didn't want to be vegan anymore, if they just said, hey, I just don't want to be vegan anymore, I want to eat meat again, but instead they just spout all this nonsense, misinformation, pseudoscience to throw veganism under the bus. I agree 100%. Yeah. Okay, Chick Magnet, you're three years vegan, not deficient yet. Yeah, obviously you're getting some nutrients from your food. Think about it like this, Chick Magnet. If... If you if plants were all devoid of nutrients because of this bad soil, um, you, it would be dead pretty quickly. Think about it. if you didn't get any nutrients put into your body, like you know, over what, like a, a month or two, you should probably die, right? Uh, yeah, three years, let alone you know. Come on, how come you're not sick and dying yet? Yeah, 2 a.m. vegan. How come all the anti-vegans love to make fun of Dr. Gregor? Yet every time I look at Chris Kresser, I go, why does Chris Kresser, why does this dude get a free pass? He's, he doesn't look like some kind of picture of glowing health, even though he puts himself out there as this, like, super healthy person. I mean, I mean, how how is this supposed to be? Oh, he's... This guy's supposed to be super freaking healthy, but Dr. Gregor, oh my God, he looks so horrific and like he's dying or something like that. I mean... They look, I think Gregor looks a little better and isn't Gregor older? I don't know why, yeah, all these anti-vegans, they get free passes, all the things they criticize us for, totally, you know, fine for them. But for us, vegans have to be perfect. We'll have to look like Brad Pitt at age 30 or, you know, whatever, you know, if you're a dude. Anyway. Rx Daddy, are you talking to me or someone else? That Joe defended Wilkes. Um, I remember at some points in the debate, um, Joe wanted to hear more of what Wilkes was saying when Chris was kind of like trying to hide a little bit. So yeah, I think Joe tried to steer to the debate, but I don't think he was really pro um, Wilkes. But at a few points in the debate, he did want Wilkes to continue on the, the line of reasoning that he was on. Frank, what are you talking about raw vegan and garbage in the vegan food? I don't know what you're saying. Please tell me if you have something you want to say. <laughs> hey, XFG Films, thank you for earlier um, clarifying. Before the video started, all the, the Joe Rogan stands are all up in arms. But yeah, free speech really meant. Thank you. Um, Rx, Dr. Daddy, I'm spreading misinformation. Are you talking to me? Like, what? be clear. What, what misinformation am, am I, I spreading? I just said that Lightning Wilkes went on to um, live Joe Rogan podcast in front of um, Chris Kresser and made Chris Kresser admit, I think three times, at least twice, but I thought three times, Chris Kresser had to admit after Lightning Wilkes' insistence to make uh, Kresser say, I was wrong. Showed him 
several times where he was just factually and conceptually wrong. If that's misinformation, um, we can play back my video. It might take a while, but I did my responsibility and showed each of those instances. Um, so yeah, we can't rewrite history. That actually happened. It's on film. Um, Frank Perilla, what do you mean raw vegans are doing fine? You know how many people I've responded to in the past five years who made a video with the title something to effect of why I'm no longer vegan and what percentage of these people did long stints as raw vegans? Not to say everyone who is raw vegan will eventually quit being vegan and start eating steak again, but about 90% of these people that I made videos about why I'm no longer vegan were raw vegans, which says something because I'm having a hard time remembering the last time I responded to a person who was just like a, just a non-raw vegan, someone doing a sensible, balanced vegan, vegan diet who had to quit being vegan. You know, last time I remember was maybe John Venus, and his reasons were weird. He, his main reason is because he had a kid, and he wasn't sure if his kid could be vegan, and he didn't like social awkwardness, things like that. But um, he didn't get sick, unlike the raw vegans that seemed to get like gut issues, SIBO, stuff like that. Let's see, what's that RX Dr. Daddy? Joe Rogan made a post after the video launched that Wilkes was right and he took the video down. Hmm, okay, I was not aware of that. I don't know, that's cool. I'm, I've am never I've never commented on any of the after stuff. I just commented on the actual debate with Rogan and Wilkes and, and um, Chris Kresser. And I don't think I've spread any misinformation. I just showed what they said and, and broke it down. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks, Vegan Connections. Was someone asking about um, um, bioavailable sources of B12 that are completely vegan? Because, yeah, thanks for posting that there. I, yeah, no, I have no problem getting B12. My blood labs reflect that. Thank you. Um, Rx Dr. Dad, yeah, people can. Yeah, I, I've changed. My positions evolve over time. You know, I, I don't think I'm like, have a, a direct connection to truth between my brain and the universe or God or whatever, anything like that. Wrong sometimes, you know, it happens, you know, it's cool. Frank, um, do I eat honey? No. I mean, if you look at the definition of vegan, which means we're against exploiting animals, I'm not sure what you raw vegans think if you're against exploiting animals, but no. Um, taking the honey byproduct from a, a creature, that's what it makes, and we take it and we sell it and make a commercial product of it to make profit, that's exploitation. So no, I don't participate in honey, and there's no reason to have honey. You can have plant-based sweeteners. Let's see. Um, um, Jill, let's not have any um theories, whether they're true or conspiracy theories about um vaccines and all this stuff. I really have had enough um of Joe Rogan stands today. Maybe we could talk about that on a future one. But today, this it's just. Let's not go down that path, please. Um, why isn't Joe Rogan vegan? Because he doesn't want to be vegan. He doesn't give a. He doesn't care about animals. That's it. He's a hunter. He doesn't think it's wrong to harm animals. In fact, I've heard him say he thinks he's doing the animals a favor because he believes. I should have showed that clip. I don't know why I didn't think of that at the time when I made my video for today. How he believes when he hunts and kills an animal and shoots it in the throat or whatever, he thinks he's doing it a favor because if he didn't kill it, it would die a gruesome death via a, a coyote or a wolf or something like that. So he doesn't care about animals. He says he does. He thinks he's doing the animal the, like the greatest service possible by killing it, you know? Anyway. Frank, you eat Mediterranean style. Oh, oh, cool. Are you the guy that commented in our, our, our video today? Like, why don't we eat Mediterranean? Was that you? 
Um, yeah, why don't we eat Mediterranean? Because vegan, I think Angie explained it to you, Frank, veganism is not a diet. In fact, if you are not aware, Frank, let's just take a quick look. This is our drinking game. How many times does Ryan have to show the definition of veganism in a live stream? And if you look at it here, Frank, let me turn this brightness down. It says nothing about like a diet, like losing weight or anything. It's a, it's a moral stance. It's a philosophy, a philosophy of, of not exploiting and harming animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So if you're not going to harm animals, what are we going to eat? We eat plants. That's it. We eat plants only because it's the only logical choice that is in accordance with our moral beliefs. Um, so yeah, Mediterranean has some things that are not in accordance with our moral beliefs. So if you're trying to convince a vegan to eat a Mediterranean diet, um, if you're really talking to a true ethical vegan, you're gonna it's, it's not gonna work because there's no way I'm gonna eat foods that go against my moral beliefs, Frank. No, I know Italian vegans, Frank. Don't give me the, I heard this before, the my heritage argument. I'm Chinese. There's not vegan Chinese or anything like that. You go to like China, there's meat everywhere, you know, seafood everywhere. No one's heritage, uh, prevents them from saying, hey, I can step away from the cruelty that's popular in my culture and not participate in that and instead participate in a way of living which doesn't harm and exploit animals. And there's vegan Chinese food now. There's vegan like Italian food. We make Italian stuff all the time. We make pasta all the time. You don't need to put cheese on it or anything like that. Pasta and tomato sauce, completely Italian, completely vegan. You can have yeah, vegan Mexican food, vegan, we make vegan uh, Ethiopian food, vegan Indian food. And all these cultures have meat and dairy and all that stuff. So don't, this whole my culture argument fails. There's no vegan culture out there everyone comes from a culture that has meat and dairy dishes everyone does that argument doesn't work now vlam 100 percent chinese and vegan yay fellow chinese representing their vlam uh, but you really eat chinese food yeah, i really do too but yeah whenever i do find a, a vegan chinese place like vegan dim sum vegan orange chicken like yeah they're rolling it out all to all the panda expresses a place i was never going to but i've gone twice now um they have vegan orange chicken now and it's not that bad it's pretty freaking good it's not cheap but it's pretty good yeah you love pasta too yeah i mean come on frank Sam, well, it depends how you define plant-based, and that's why I don't like that word. It has a very ambiguous meaning. There's like no minimum threshold for when you can consider yourself plant-based, like if you eat certain percent or anything like that. It's just kind of vague. Vegan, very precise definition. You have a moral stance against animal cruelty, and you um, don't eat any animal products. Super easy. Plant-based, yeah, sometimes I don't know what they mean when someone says they're plant-based. Yeah, Chipotle has vegan offerings now. I mean, even before they introduced their latest vegan um, um, chorizo, chorizo, you could always just get what I got, just like the bean and rice burrito, put veggies on it, totally vegan. Yeah, if all dieting, it must be pretty easy. If our friend Frank here is already on a Mediterranean diet, pretty freaking easy to transition to a vegan diet. But maybe Frank is just thinking of food as diets. You know, vegan is a diet, like a Mediterranean diet, a keto diet. No, veganism is a philosophy. You, if you accept, Frank, that it's wrong, it's morally wrong to unnecessarily and needlessly harm animals to produce your food, which you don't need. Otherwise, I'd be dead. 11 year vegan. Um, Frank, you can easily transition to a vegan diet, but maybe you don't care about animal exploitation and cruelty. Let us know, Frank. Just kind of curious. Um, Frank, there are literally hundreds of different brands of vegan beef jerky. I would know because before going vegan, I was a beef jerky fan. All right. So, but that said, just because you tried a few brands of beef jerky doesn't mean they're all the same some taste just like beef jerky others taste more like soy or, or mushroom whatever they're made out of um but um you know just who okay you're saying you're catholic is there something about catholic saying if you eat beef jerky it, it has to taste exactly like beef jerky if you have a plant-based one that you're somehow not going to heaven or something like that just curious because i have um many catholic vegans who watch our show User, I don't know how to teach kids under 10 about veganism. You're asking the wrong person. I've never really had to do that much in life. Maybe someone else here can give you some, some opinion on that.
or some ex share some of their experience uh, with that, with you about that. Yeah, Optimus. There's just a plethora of vegan products. Now, it's 2022. Whoever was saying that, was it Frank? All these excuses, Frank. It's 2022. Maybe if you said this in 2004 or something like that, 2004, you might have a point, but it's 2022. Whatever food that you enjoy as a non-vegan, there's a vegan version now in 2022. There's a vegan version and it's freaking good now too. Yeah, XFG films. Hey, I don't, I'm not a Christian or anything, but it's hard to imagine Jesus being here and just going to like, you know, Sizzler and eating steak all day. Just saying. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just hard, hard to conceive that. Yeah, VLAM. Yeah, the reason most people often think of veganism is just a diet because most people don't have a philosophy. And veganism is a philosophy, a moral stance against animal cruelty and exploitation and therefore there is a diet to it because you have to eat to stay alive just eat plants and fungi yeah demonics gaming garden if you don't give a crap about the animals if you're not vegan maybe you give a crap about maybe preventing sea level rise um further uh, greenhouse gas emissions leading to further um temperature rise um the future of all life on our planet maybe if you don't care about animals maybe you care about humans future humans that is oh yeah, i've heard of that one leah thanks yeah a bunch of kids books v is for vegan i haven't read it but i did have heard about that don't vegan burgers have processed stuff in it the vegan kind well it depends what you mean by processed stuff i mean i have i have one of my favorite kind of burgers just a simple black bean burger i guess you can consider it's processed because they took beans and smashed them up and put some spices in it but yeah i mean you don't have to eat impossible burgers and um beyond burgers as a vegan you don't have to i mean you can you're totally welcome to but if you're if you are afraid of processed foods or your body doesn't like processed foods don't eat processed foods. And I'm saying, Frank, just because there's some processed burgers doesn't mean veganism is bad. Just don't eat those. I, I can't even remember the last time I had an Impossible or a Beyond Burger, to be honest with you. Sat down and had a big, you know, hamburger. I don't know. I can't recall. Let's see, Fod Dieting. Yeah, four kids. Thanks for sharing. Four kids under 10 that are eating plant-based. We can seed with some vegan junk food so they get enough calories. They're doing great. Yeah, Optimus Primal, yeah. I pointed out like some bean burgers. You can have mushroom burgers. What else? Lentil, vegan burgers. Yeah, and I often find these whole food, more whole foody um, burgers to be more tasty than the more processed burgers. Yeah, you don't have to eat processed food. Frank, do I miss meat? Great question. No, I don't meet, miss meat at all. It's like when I see meat, I don't go, ooh, I'm resisting my urge. There's always this urge to eat meat. And I must have it, but I resist through using sheer willpower. No, not, not it, 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 meat is gross. Meat is freaking gross. When I'm out like uh, walking or running past a restaurant and they're grilling meat, I want to gag. I want to barf. It's, it's, it's gross. It smells like crap to me. And uh, it's just, it's not even a food option whatsoever. To me, it's like on the same category as poop. If I see poop on the ground, I'm not going to eat it. It's gross. And if I see a piece of meat, I'm not going to eat it. It's gross. I mean, no, no, uh-uh. Don't miss meat whatsoever. Zero percent, zero missing meat. Yeah, and some people never liked meat to begin with. Like Angie was never a real a meat eater for <laughs> her life. Yeah. Um, that's good, Fog Dying, to kind of think ahead. Yeah, if you can bring a vegan option when going out to things where there's like the kids are going to share cakes or cupcakes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you, Leah. Meat is repulsive and gross. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm so bummed. We're not getting Joe Rogan stands. Like, how come they came and just like tried to like poo poo on my uh, live comments in the video premiere? And here I make a title inviting them to come, and they're just like absent like joe rogan stands you guys suck 
Frank, what do you mean meat heals? I mean, how have I been healing for 11 years, Frank, if meat heals? I mean, I'm, I'm, that's just a, a dumb saying that like, like Sean Baker made up or something like that, a carnivore person made up. You don't need meat to heal. That's just bull crap misinformation. Again, if that were true, I should not be able to heal. I shouldn't be able to heal from injuries and sports injuries and illnesses, I'm healing just fine. <laughs> They're tired, Jesse. The Joe Rogan stands are too tired to come here. Not enough fiber. Maybe that's as plausible of an explanation as I've heard yet. That's maybe why they're not here. They just burnt out in the chat earlier. Is there a banging sound out there? Hmm. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, he's just trolling right now, huh? Oh, hey, Hansel Cousin, I remember you from a few live streams ago. Thank you. Hey, actually, you're our first um, Super Chat tip of the day. I forgot <laughs> there, even if there is Super Chat functionality. I've just been so focused on other things. Hey, thanks, Han Solo's cousin. How come I'm not hearing the audio for that? Let's see. Hello. I love what you do. I'm vegan, by the way. Well, thank you, Han Solo cousin. Oh, here comes audio. All right, thanks so much. I figured you're probably vegan if you're super chatting 9.99 like that. Thanks so much. Yeah, sometimes a hater will leave a comment, a super chat, just to get their message up there, but never like 9.99 or anything like that. So thanks so much. I appreciate that you appreciate what we are doing. Thanks so much. Leah, the definition of stands. Stands are just people that just like um, just like almost violently support or defend someone that they love like joe people that love joe rogan they, they came to my um my premiere at five o'clock when i launched my video at five just saying all this stuff how i shouldn't be talking about joe rogan i'm a bad person blah 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 that's a stand right there hey um <laughs> let's see um groovy lisa baby hey how's it going guys um <laughs> Instead of meat heals, I like that, Timothy. Meat kills. I fixed it for him there. Um, Frank, does anyone like Dr. Morse? Doctor of Fruit? Um, no one here cares about him. Like, no one here really, you know, like, maybe there's a couple people, but we're not really into, like, fruitarian raw gurus or something like that. Han Solo's cousin. I will thank you again for a second super chat tip there. I will strongly consider getting us a pizza tonight um you've, got, you've gotten us really 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 close to uh, a tuesday night pizza in fact i'll i'll text angie in a little bit see if she might be hungry for a pizza or not because i have to admit it's maybe been a month since we've gotten one from our local um um horror um uh devilish themed um pizza bar here in long beach but thank you. Thank you so much, um, Han Solo's cousin. It's great to have um to truly be fed by by our viewers, you know, by your support. It's really cool. It really, you know, doesn't go in the bank, it goes to food. Hey, loving life health. How's it going? You're asking, isn't Dr. Robert Morse good? I don't think any of us really know, because we don't watch fruitarian doctors, because most of us here don't really believe in the raw fruitarian dogma that's what i'm saying i don't know maybe he's awesome a little bit i've seen he seemed kind of weird i don't know but you know i think a lot of the raw fruitarian leaders are weird because they speak nonsense they speak things that are just completely non-evidence based <laughs> oh yeah. March 1st is your birthday, Peter. I'll try to remember that. March 1st. All right. Happy early birthday, Peter. Thanks for letting me know. Um, you had pizza tonight, Brian? Oh, my God. Han Solo's cousin. Holy all moly. Right. Yes. All right. I <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll have to text Angie if she's down for some pizza tonight. I'll say someone just bought us pizza. Han Solo's cousin bought us pizza. What's that? Veganism means being kind to animals. Remember that. Yeah, that's what veganism is. A lot of people think, yeah, veganism is a diet. No, it means n not harming animals, being kind to animals, not exploiting animals. This isn't a way to lose weight or fight at a lower weight class or something like that. We got pizza donations. Texting Angie. Should we get... 
see what she says. Thanks, Hansel, because I just messaged An Angie about the the pizza the, the pizza that you pretty much bought us for tonight. I, well, I get it because I don't think we have anything on tap. We had some leftover chili from last night that we had for lunch earlier today. So um, um, it's wide open for um, what we could have for dinner tonight. So thank you so much, Hansel, because I appreciate that. Um, Would you have their Miyoko's um, cheese on your pizza, Dr. Bear? Yeah, the um, Miyoko's, yeah, you can't go wrong. That's like the, the um, just the top level of vegan cheese, the top tier, uh, really, really good cheeses. A little pricier than most other cheeses, but if you want a really good cheese, you can't go wrong with Miyoko's. Tom, do we have good vegan pizza places in the United States? Depends where you're at, really. It depends from city to city, town to town. Some places are awesome, some places suck. Um, we have we're lucky. We have a really good um, vegan pizza place. It's not the, it's a bar. It's a horror themed bar, and um, they have pizza there too. Really really good pizza. It's like a boutique pizza slash horror themed bar. Um, and not all their pizzas are vegan, but their vegan pizzas are amazing. They're like handmade, the seitan and their parmesan is handmade there. You don't buy it from like Morning Star or something like that. Frank, you're just trolling us right now. Um, raw milk. You, we don't need milk, Frank. Why, why do you intentionally want to harm animals? You want to harm animals with your Mediterranean diet. And now, as I assume an adult, you drink the secretions from other animals. Like, why do you find it, as an adult, necessary to drink bodily secretions from, like, a goat or a cow or something like that? You know, that's weird. Like, raw people talk about what's natural. That's totally not natural. There's no other creatures that drink milk from another creature and on top of that drink it past like infancy that's just bizarre so no that's not cool and plus you're exploiting animals by forcibly keeping them forcibly impregnated to produce this milk which you enjoy for absolutely no health benefit whatsoever because if you needed milk to survive and live and be healthy i should be dead now after 11 plus years vegan so cool for you frank for um intentionally or, or not into, maybe you're not fully aware of the exploitation that goes on in oh, dairy um, production. It, it, calves are killed, the baby males are either killed instantly or turned into veal. It's horrific. Um, but you, you're cool with that, right? Because, you know, whatever. I'm not sure what it is. Um, oh, man, more Super Chat tips. Holy moly, guys. You guys are awesome. Optimus Primal, thank you for your Super Chat tip there. Well, we really got a pizza. Um tonight well, i can leave them a nice tip too if we get it um hansel cousin thank you too um again once again for your um was it th third fourth super chat tip now oh my goodness um never eat meat fish dairy and eggs instead eat veggies and fruits that's what i'm trying to tell frank here i don't know why frank insists on trying to tell us he drinks milk he likes a mediterranean diet like why why did, should vegans eat these foods which are we're morally against for the inherent cruelty involved in the production of them. There's no way around it. But thanks so much, Optimus Primus and Han Solo. Sounds like we're all on board. We're all on the same page. We're all against animal cruelty and don't understand the um, the reasons, the excuses that people give to continually support these exploitative industries or, or practices. Okay, oh, cool. You're against factory farming, Frank. Awesome. But still, I don't care if a cow is kept in a factory farm for dairy production or if the cow is kept at an Amish farm. Still, in order for a cow to produce milk, Frank, there's no way around it. A cow has to become pregnant. And in order for that to become a viable business, the cows are forcibly impregnated. They just can't wait around for it to get magically pregnant. And once it's not pregnant anymore, they impregnate it again. They keep the female calves impregnated nated their entire lives until dairy production drops off in them because they become old and just worn out then they're killed because it's not economically viable economically viable to keep feeding them for no benefit so you're killing the females after they're not worthy anymore you're keeping them impregnated their entire adult lives and furthermore when you're pregnant guess what you produce a baby right you knew that right frank and guess what happens to those babies they're pretty much destroyed especially if they're males so explain to me why you want to continue this practice support this practice even though it's an amish farm that's cool whatever you know, i'm not knocking the amish or anything like that i'm just saying even the amish as amazing as they are they can't get around the fact that the babies must be killed especially the males and you're in intentionally keeping a female cow pregnant its entire adult life and then you kill it once it's not productive anymore explain to me why you want to support that explain to me please frank lauren you're going into the film industry in los angeles whoa tell me more about that
Loving health life. That's cool, but these um, small dairy farmers, I said, I don't care if you're a, a, a factory farm with those rotating machines that they keep the cows on or what, but I'm saying there's still, you can't get over the fact that the female cows are forcibly impregnated until they're not economically worth keeping alive anymore. Then they kill them. And in between that, all the times of being forcibly impregnated, each cycle, the babies are taken and pretty much destroyed, especially males, turned into veal or killed. The females, if they're lucky, they get to be put into practice as dairy cows and forcibly impregnated in their entire lives. I'm just saying, if you don't think that's exploitative, what if we did that to people? What if we kept people, we bred them into existence solely to like hook machines up to their boobs when they're pregnant, which we force them to be pregnant, and they take all their milk from them, and then we kill them when they're not like useful anymore. I mean, that's there's no way we're around biology, as I'm saying, whether it's on a factory farm or on a small Amish farm or something like that. I'm just saying there's inherent cruelty in dairy that there's no way to get around because it's just the whole fact of how biology and pregnancy works. Frank, now, why are we talking about abortion now? Like, you're just throwing poop on the wall. You, this is what people do. They come to my live stream. Instead of answering my questions, which I want you to answer, Frank, now you're trying to change the topic. You're pooping your hand, throwing on the wall, and seeing what sticks. And so far as nothing sticks. Some, I mean, abortion, you know, like, so there's some vegans that are pro-abortion or pro-life. and answer. It's all over the place. It's, it's more of a political issue than a philosophical vegan issue. But anyway, let's answer my question, um, Frank. Um, please tell me, why are you insisting upon that you need to consume and support this uh, product, dairy, from an industry that's inherent inherently exploitative to the enforceably impregnated female cows and the calves that are killed? Tell me why you think this is so awesome. Because you don't need it. You don't need dairy to be alive. You don't need dairy to be healthy. Again, if so, vegans would all be dead. So please tell me, Frank, why are you trying to lobby for uh, continuing supporting this inherently cruel business? Let's see, Roku says, there are many cases of Amish farm animal abuse, even by the already low standards of US farms. To the Amish, animals are there to be used, not to be pets. See, they see them as a creature, an object to be exploited, a living, there's no way around it. If you are running a dairy farm, the animals are there to be exploited. There's even if you say these animals are your pets and you love them and the Amish aren't claiming that, but Again, what do you do with the babies that are produced by your continually pregnant females? You're, you can't keep them all. After a while, you're going to have too many by just exponential growth. You just can't feasibly keep all the offspring and their offspring and their offspring. You'll have like a million cows if you start with two. Yeah, AJ Finnage, take a shot when I show the definition of vegan and also take a shot when I talk about the anti-vegans throwing poop on the wall, not answering my questions and trying to change to another topic. No, if you're going to open up the can of worms, let's go into that can of worms, but just don't keep throwing different poops on the wall. Oh, okay, Angie, about the pizza. Um, let's see, hang on one second here. Um... Let's see. Okay, regarding the potential pizza for tonight, Angie has said, if I like, if we like, and tell them thanks from her. So Angie, thanks all you guys that have left your generous super chat tips um, for us to get a pizza tonight. So it's relatively early and um, I think their um, kitchen is still open for a few more hours. They're a bar, you know, so they're open kind of late. So I think we'll get a pizza tonight, guys. So thank you, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Han Solo's cousin and where's the other super chat tip here? I usually have them all listed here in my my software is kind of like bummed me out. Optimus Primal and Han Solo's cousin. Thank you so much, guys. You're um you're gonna feed us, it looks like. It looks like you guys are gonna feed us, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, and Whole Foods makes pretty good vegan pizzas, um, but I'm lucky I have both and the ones at Fourth Horseman kick butt over Whole Foods' pizzas, which are fine. Those are good pizzas, but Fourth Horseman's pizzas, I would drive a long way to get them. They're that good. Yeah, um, user. Yeah, what, what to our friend Frank here, why not drink a plant milk? <laughs> why not drink like a an, an oat milk or something? Like what's so wrong about that? If you really enjoy milk, maybe you just like the taste, pleasure and all that stuff, you know? You can drink oat milk. You, know, you can flavor your coffee with oat milk or whatever you do with why you're drinking dairy. 
Renee, I missed I missed a donation. Let me look here. Um. Oh my God, I did miss it, Renee. I, I don't know what happened here. I need to put my. I think it's because I don't wear headphones anymore, and the speakers here on the laptop aren't that loud. Yes, Renee, I missed it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm. I have vegan brain fog. They were right. All those anti vegans were right all along. Who knew? Um, Ray Ryan, just watch your new video. Joe is the most frustrating anti vegan by far just because of the size of this platform. Hi, Angie. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. Yeah, um, that's why I make these videos about um, uh, Joe Rogan. Um, oh, um, Joe Rogan donated a dollar for pizza too. <laughs> And but yeah, the guys thinks that's why I make these videos about Joe Rogan. I'm not trying to shut him down. I'm not trying to censor him or cancel. I've not made a campaign to quit Spotify. Joe Rogan's guy. I've done, done anything of the sort. Um, I've just uh, I've been upset with Joe Rogan for five years, guys. Five years for doing what I made that video about today about him just continually spreading anti-vegan misinformation to the large he has the largest platform podcasting platform in the world it's frustrating yeah if he were just some little schmo i wouldn't give a crap you know like these anti-vegans i don't ever talk about i don't care about him but joe rogan millions of viewers saying this stuff and people listen to him like he's an authority like he knows what he's talking about he's just an idiot and people it's about veganism maybe he knows something about fighting i don't know um mma but when it comes to veganism he's a knucklehead but thanks, guys. Thanks, Renee. And thanks, Joe Rogan, for tipping us a couple more bucks for pizza there. All right, we're going to have a, a great pizza tonight, guys. I'm excited. We haven't, actually, we haven't had it maybe in a month or so. Um, so, yeah, cool. Awesome, guys. Yeah. Whoa, Leah. <laughs> now you know what Stan is, huh, Leah? <laughs> okay, I'm a happy, healthy vegan Stan. Hugging face, heart, best kind to be. Keep doing what you do, my friends. Oh, thanks, Leah. Thank you. Thank you so much for your very generous super chat tip there. And yeah, you're a longtime viewer. A lot of you guys. Yeah, just that's, that's so cool. I just see, keep saying you guys. You guys are, you know, um, just a very just cool bunch of people. Not just because of tips like that, but just, you know, you're, you're we see you guys in the video premieres like today. You know, we see you everywhere. And we know we know you by by name on, on, on YouTube, at least. And it's always cool when we find you on other social media platforms. I think if you click the show description here, you can at least find me on Twitter. I leave um, I, a comment there pretty much every day. You can see what I'm talking about. They're usually a vegan related topic. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. Um, so Frank says you can't drink plant-based milks because they upset your stomach. Huh? Well then try a different plant. Try soy milk. Try, there's like a dozen different plant milks you can try. I'm sure at least one of them doesn't upset your stomach. But I know, um, if I were to drink lactose milk, I'm lactose intolerant. That definitely would upset my stomach. Give me the runs. Most most people walking around on this planet are lactose intolerant. Just putting it out there. People say milk something humans should be drinking. No, it just shows you. If the majority of humans on this planet are lactose intolerant, I'm saying something. <laughs> well, Han Solo's cousin. Wow, thank you again. I agree with you 100% there. Just be vegan, everyone. And if you're not going to be vegan, at least just don't eat animals and drink their secretions and eat their secretions just you know whatever your reason just don't don't f with the animals but it'd be best if you knew why it's you don't want to mess with the animals because they don't deserve to be harmed just like we don't that's a lot of people think veganism is some weird idea no if you believe it's wrong to like harm and exploit other people to murder other people to to rape or impregnate other people um without them wanting you to um same thing if you believe it's wrong to do that to humans wrong to do that to animals it's not like a, it's not like landing on mars it's the same concepts just these same beliefs that we have about what's wrong to do to other humans it's wrong to do the animals as well it's a, it's a very common sense it's so down to earth people don't realize it it's so down to earth <laughs> Jules been drinking um soy milk since 1999. Oh, yeah, I've been drinking plant-based milks. Yeah, I mean since probably before I went vegan. I can't remember the last time I bought like dairy milk. Um, you know you don't need dairy milk, bro. Let's see, loving life health. Me and Angie got you started five years ago. Whoa, awesome! Thanks for sharing that loving life health. We try to help, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't think we got you started, but we helped you on your journey to be where you're at right now. Yeah, it's not weird and it feels great. 
Yeah, Uncle Walt, have people clicked on the like button. Let YouTube know that these videos are cool and should be suggested and promoted because the YouTube algorithm, I haven't really talked about this much, doesn't really share much love with us, guys. It doesn't like us at all. We got to find ways to, like, combat, you know, what they're doing to us or have been doing to us for, like, three years now. Not to say we're ever, like, dominating the algorithm. Wow, Han Solo's cousin. Wow, thank you for another super chat tip there. Are you sure this is okay, Han Solo? You're not like a, a minor and you, you've taken your, your uh, adult's credit card or anything like that. Just checking. But thanks, Han Solo's cousin. Appreciate it. Yeah, animals are innocent. Don't hurt them. Absolutely. That That's basically what veganism is all about, right? Like, why? What gives humans the intrinsic right to harm and exploit animals at will like we why what, what what right do we have to like oh let's get these animals and round them up and and exploit them and take some product from them either their flesh or their milk and sell it for profit and make a business out of it and what have you like what right do you have to take living beings like that living mammals with sentience and consciousness and make their lives um all about you you seen them as nothing other than a tool to profit. Like, what gives you the right to do that with another sentient being? That's what veganism finds wrong. Hand puppets on our channel, Travis. How would that help us there? Yeah, well, thanks again, Han Solo Cousin. You just didn't tell me if you, this, you, <laughs> this is your proper a credit card or whatever you're using their PayPal or whatever. But yeah, yeah, you're right. People who um who dodge questions, um, why do they dodge questions, huh, Han Solo, uh, Han Solo's cousin? Why do these anti-vegans who just throw the poop on the wall over and over again instead of delving deep into a topic, which I'm all about. I'm all about delving deeply into a topic and exploring it, like the Socratic method, if you guys know what that is. But... um. You know, if you're just changing topics, throwing poop on the wall, dodging questions, then we know something's wrong because it shows they gave up on that one. Let's try to throw another poop on the wall. James, turning 59 tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. You want help? What kind of help are you looking for, James? It doesn't sound that bad. I'll be there in um, five more years, four and a half more years. Whoa. <laughs> Time is flying, huh? <laughs> on solo okay yes please i insist yeah this must be your last super chat at least for tonight yeah you've been more than super generous and we appreciate that so much too han solo han, han solo's cousin thank you so much yeah we appreciate that like i said we're a small channel even though we have a couple hundred thousand subscribers we got most of them like in our first three years on youtube when the algorithm liked us and they have the algorithm hasn't been too kind to us lately so yeah we don't get like the views of a two hundred thousand subscriber channel at all more like a like a 30,000 subscriber channel, which is cool. I'm not complaining a bit, but I think a lot of people, they, yeah, they're big and huge. Like, no, we're, we're, we're little channels. So thank you so much, Han Solo's cousin. Yeah, we'll be able to get the greatest pizza of our lives if we wanted to. But yeah, please, Han Solo's cousin. I insist, yeah, no more. You're making me nervous with your generosity. So thank you. Appreciate it. But yeah, just... <laughs> yeah, babe, lot of super chats. They want to buy some pizza. Yeah, I told him I wasn't even planning on it, but dinner's kind of wide open tonight, you know, so we could totally get a pizza. It's, yeah, it's been a long time. I'll order one pretty soon. Uh-oh, anyone getting buffering right now? Is anyone getting buffering? Let's see. Let me make sure everything's cool. Okay, was anyone getting buffering right then? Let me know. I, I just refreshed my browser and everything's cool now. Okay, so I guess if you ever experience buffering um, and it doesn't seem to be stopping, just hit refresh on your browser or on your phone and hopefully it'll um, cure itself instantly. So, worked for me. Cool. I, I get nervous when it happens for everyone. I remember, remember like a few months ago, I was having that continual buffering problem. I, I took, it took a lot of time and some money to try to troubleshoot it and fix it. And I have a workaround right now. It's not perfect, but notice how we've been, we have, really haven't had buffering on the live stream ever since then. So cool. I just get nervous now when I see that. And I should. I have like, like nightmares burned on, onto my brain. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get a couple extra toppings. I'm not sure what we'd get there. Like maybe have them put a little more of the vegan seitan or something. We'll see what we can do. I was typing no, um, no onions, please, or garlic. You guys know I'm not a big fan of that. 
Oh, hey, thank you, Jill. Thank you for all that you and Angie do for the animals. Much love. Thank you. Yeah, Angie especially been, you know, vegetarian essentially since the 1980s when it was really, that was like being vegan then. It was like a lot harder than it is now. I mean, being vegetarian was, was pretty hard back then. Yeah, vegan is really not that hard anymore. Uh, but anyway. What's a lot of starch, Joel? What about starch? Let me know. I didn't see what that is in context to. Wow, Peter, someone once sent Vegan Gains a a $10,000 super chat? Are you serious? $10,000? Are you kidding? Wow, I didn't even know you could super chat that amount. Wow, that's, that's nuts. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do if I saw a $10,000 super chat. I, I really have no idea what I'd do if I, I got a $10,000. I don't know what I'd do if I got a $1,000 super chat, but that's that's awesome. Wow. Nicholas, that's a fair question. Any podcast or information from Joe Rogan that ever found helpful? Well, consider I don't watch his show. I only, only tend to view it when there's um, you know something to respond to. Someone says, "Hey, did you see Jordan Peterson and Joe Rogan?" Like, like Peter, hey, you know, did you guys see that? Like they're talking about veganism and all this nonsense. No, I think it was Peter. I think someone else told me about that originally. Maybe Peter did after the fact, but um, I really don't. Like I said, maybe for all I know, Joe Rogan is super intelligent. You know, he's like you know. Carl Sagan, Einstein, all put together and speaks eloquently and full of fact and everything on other topics. Maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. But all I know is when he talks about veganism, it is a disaster. Yeah, I wonder if they did a chargeback on that $10,000 super chat tip. You know, they probably all partied for a few days and then saw it didn't come through. I wonder. Don't know. Hey, I wonder if he smiled when he got that tip too, huh? <laughs> Was, would that be something to put a smile on his face? Frank, did Vegan Gains get fixed? Uh, I remember back when I used to watch him like six, seven years ago. I thought he had um the, what's that called? The the snip, the testicles. What's that called? Um, um, You know, when you get fixed as a dude. Um, You guys will figure it out here. I'm having vegan brain fog once again. I went to the gym today. I played. I didn't play against people, but I did my workouts on the basketball court for, um, yeah, two hours about. So I'm a little tired. And yeah, I guess I can be um, uh, forgiven for, for getting a few words and not have veganism get debunked. I'm sure someone's going to say, oh, look at Ryan couldn't remember the word vasectomy. Therefore, veganism is null and void. Case closed. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Who's Pugman, Caustic Him? Never heard of that. Um, no spamming. Hey, Uncle or Peter, can you get rid of that person trying to send a, a, a URL there? Diffam, Diffam, get out of here, you um, either bot or um, spammer. You guys suck. Bots and <laughs> spammers suck. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Walt. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. I was going to do it myself, but the... the, the, the no, messages are scrolling and I don't want to like ban someone cool accidentally. <laughs> yes, it's called a vasectomy. Thank you guys. You know, the male snip. Thank you. Neutered and spayed, I guess, if you're an animal. Um, yeah, um, there are saints that are known for having loved animals, Frank, like St. Francis of Assisi is the one that comes to mind and I'm sure there's others. Yeah. I assume he'd be vegan, too, if he loves all his animals and eats some. That would kind of be a contradiction on the animal love, huh? I see Jill St. Joe recently made a video where he's going to host more guests with an, with opposing views. I saw him in his, like, his, um, his apology or response to the, the drama. Uh, I haven't seen him follow up and book the guest. I know that takes time. I'll, we'll give him that. Um, maybe you should contact him and say he'd love to come on a show as a vegan activist. Um <laughs> I don't know how to get through to the Joe Rogan people. I really don't know how to connect with his producers and stuff like that. If any of you guys know, let me know and I'll try. But um, I don't know why he'd have me on for. That'd be cool. Tell him to his face. I'll just show him my videos here and say, all right, Joe, let's talk about this quote that you said here. We'll play it. And what's your, do you, do you agree with that? Even after you saw the facts and evidence that shows everything you're saying is completely wrong, wh how would you respond to I would love to go and just bring a laptop, put it up on the screen there and have him one, just one by one, roll my clips of him speaking nonsense and my response and see what he has to say. That would be amazing. I would love to do that. So if anyone has a way for me to contact his producers, 
I'm all down. You'll ask him for me? Cool. If you know him, awesome. Have his producers send us an email. That'd be cool. Sucks, though. He's so far away now. He's in Texas. And so it's harder for me to travel right now. It was great when he lived in um, Southern California, just like, you know, an hour away. Um, I haven't read everything in Ed's book yet, Linda. I'd love to. Um, someone wants to send me a copy. That'd be great. Um, oh, Tom, this room looks really cool, by the way. The lighting, all my records. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a chill room. It's a music studio. Even though it might not look like one with the couch, the couch is like one of the more recent additions. I realize it's so much easier to track vocals with the singer sitting on the couch. That'd be Angie's. So we bought a couch, a little love seat, really, and put it back there. Um, yeah, that's how we track now. Um, he doesn't live in Texas now, Peter? Where, where is the Joe Rogan podcast filmed at now? I, I just assumed he was in Texas. Did he move somewhere else? I thought he moved there because um, he got that $100 million Spotify deal and they don't have like the state taxes like California, so he saved himself like a few million bucks. He was trying to blame it on like, he said there's too many homeless people in California. I'm sure there's homeless people in Texas too, but um, uh, there, I guess there's not property taxes, or at least, uh, not. I mean, state taxes like there are here, state taxes. I say property, my bad. Vegan brain frog. Vegan brain frog. Yeah, he was horrible to Russell Brand. Like I said, maybe he was joking. He had a funny look on his face. But still, just to say that straight face to Russell Brand, yeah, you got to get off that vegan crap. It's going to make you fat with all them carbs. You know, it's just so lame. Oh, he does live in Texas. Yeah, yeah. I thought he, I was wondering if he moved again to another state with even less taxes than, than Texas has. Oh, Yannicky, lost Joe, we're going to come to me. Come and sit in this room with me? Um, That ain't going to happen. There's no way that'll ever happen. Um, I don't know if I want him here, to be honest with you, but um, I'll go on his show. User wants to know how I first found veganism. I didn't really find veganism. It's a concept. Remember, veganism is a philosophy. I don't want to show the definition again and make you guys drink. It's a shot, you know, the drinking game. But anyway, um, it's, a, it's a philosophy. When I realized, when I started eating like only plants for a few days, vegan diet, I realized, wow, no animals needed to die in order for, in order for me to live. And that struck me like, like a ton of bricks falling on me. It was this heavy thought, you know? very real like wow why do people and i wonder why do people want animals to die for them don't people know they can just eat plants and, and animals don't have to die why would people intentionally choose for animals to be killed for them needlessly like do people enjoy animals being killed probably not they're just being lazy the conditioning that they they've had upon them from society and being raised in a non-vegan world I understand the inertia, the psychological inertia. I don't think people are inherently bad. They're just lazy and conditioned. But anyway, I broke out of that conditioning and I just, I've been a different person, like a second birthing or something like that. You know, it's like, wow, like I can't believe I thought you needed to eat animal products all those years. And I realized that's a bunch of crap. You, you don't. Just look at the science. It's not a conspiracy theory. Just look at the science. Science is really clear. Eating only plants. As long as you're not doing some ridiculous way of eating plants, like mono dieting or no cooked food the rest of your life you know it's you're gonna be get your nutrition take a b12 supplement though guys yeah you wouldn't want joe rogan in your house either huh i don't think i'd want joe rogan in my house to be honest with you yeah breaking bad generational habits yeah that's what why we're not a vegan world no frank i do not juice i like smoothies in the morning after my workouts or early afternoons but no i don't juice um I'm woke, <laughs> Uncle Uncle Wall. I don't, I'm woke. It was just maybe it was just it just I tell you, it's just a philosophical like breakthrough. Just like bam, like whoa. Why are people eating animals for? You don't have to. Why are people killing animals to eat them? It doesn't make any sense. It still doesn't make any sense anymore. I can never go back to that. I'm a changed human for the rest of my life. Why are people? eating animals for when well, you don't have to like they like said so do they enjoy animals being killed probably not you know then i guess you know we got to show them how easy it is to be vegan yeah it's like being reborn aj husk huh? in a weird way huh i mean just realizing whoa like, we don't have to kill animals like why are we killing animals for then what's up with that <laughs> Yeah, it's just not, meat is not necessary. Dairy is not necessary. Even honey is not necessary. All these things are not necessary. If they were, 
I would be dead and ill right now. My blood labs would be crap like Joe Rogan thinks vegans' blood labs are. Yeah, that's why people shouldn't listen to raw gurus like Christina or any of them saying to go on fasts, juice fasts and stuff like that. I, I don't know of any health organization that says, yeah, drink only juice for a month. Like, what the hell? Like, where are you getting that from? Like, you're just making stuff up and following like raw other raw gurus. But I don't I don't see any credible science saying, yeah, if you drink juice for a month, you're totally rad health wise. Oh, Renee, another super chat tip there. Um. Thank you so much again, Renee. My favorite time, your favorite time Joe Rogan got owned was when he had that journalist tell him that plants don't feel pain and that study always reference was false. Well, I didn't see that. Oh my goodness. A journalist told him, oh man, I gotta find that. Holy moly. How come I've never heard of that one, Renee? If you have a link to that or, or, or at least know the title, actually they're all on Spotify now. But that's just cool knowing that happened. Wow. I can't imagine. How did Joe react? Did he accept the information that the journalist presented or did he go into denial mode? Kind of curious how Joe reacted because he's so tied to this just completely bizarre, non-real, non-fact-based fantasy that plants have emotions and scream and feel pain just like us, but we don't. they don't have mouths. Let's see. Pia, vegan for 22 years. Well, double me. Good for you. You can't convince your mother to go vegan? Neither can I, so don't take it personally. I have a very horrible track record, I've told you guys, when it comes to convincing like friends and family to stop eating animals and dairy and all. David, um... Uh, did you watch my video from earlier today? That's why I'm inviting the Joe Rogan stands into this live chat because um no I never said I, I, I could play what I said earlier I said he, he could use some fact checking instead of opening his big mouth and just making up whatever crap he wants That's not based in any science or reality for that matter He could stand to have some fact checking because he has a responsibility He has the largest audience of pot of any podcaster in the world and if he's just gonna just say complete flat-out lies that just make millions of impressionable viewers turn away from veganism, be against veganism, just because they heard some bull crap that's easily disprovable from Joe Rogan. Yeah, I think maybe some fact checking. Maybe you spend some of that hundred million bucks he got from Spotify and hire a fact checker. It wouldn't put him at any economic disadvantage. Oh, Frank, now you're trolling us. What do you mean vegans have cheat days? What the hell are you talking about? Why would a vegan have a cheat day? Why would I all of a sudden, maybe like every other Thursday, say, you know, screw my morality. I think it's okay to harm, rape, and ex or impregnate and exploit animals only if I do it once a month. That one day I can bend my morality. That makes as much sense as someone like me, like saying, you know, I think once a year I should rape a human. It's wrong the other 364 odd days, but yeah, one day a year I'm going to cheat on my morality and I will rape someone. I will discard my morality for a temporary time 24 hours rape maybe a couple people that day then get back to normal life not raping people I don't understand Frank um what do you mean what are you sorry for Frank uncle what are some of the oldest vegans I've heard of um I don't know off the top of my head I don't really follow or keep track of old vegans um to be honest if you guys want to share some of your um favorite old vegans be yeah feel free <laughs> yeah, Linda, like we never want disgusting meat. Again, I, I don't have to tell you again, Frank. Poop and meat are on the same category, in the same category for me. Both are disgusting and both are not considered to be something to put into the mouth to chew and eat. Yeah, Heidi, we're not dieting or restricting our desires or anything like that. No, we actually, once you're vegan for a while, you find meat disgusting. There's no pull it's a repelling oh okay uncle you're talking about someone 31 years vegan oh kim is 31 years vegan holy moly kim wow i have a lot to look forward to i have 20 more years to catch up to you there kim whole vegan foods no processed foods equals health yeah the more whole foods you eat yeah i have nothing bad to say about that even though i do enjoy a little 
fun stuff from time to time, but minor processed stuff. Like, say, the vegan banana bread at Trader Joe's. I just picked some up last night. It's got a couple ingredients. It's not a whole food, but it's not like some thing with like 30 ingredients and a bunch of chemicals and stuff like that. It's pretty whole foody. It's basically bread, banana, and nuts. Your husband has been vegan 20 years and your mom has been vegan 12 years. Well, Kim, what are you doing? I need to take some lessons from you, Kim. Like, what are you doing to get so many of people, people close to you to go vegan? Because my track record sucks. Yeah, Peter, you're right. People in the blue zones, yeah, not really vegan per se. They're not doing it for moral ethical reasons. They'll have like the most minimal, like no Americans really eat the such low quantities of meat as a lot of these blue zone people. Yeah, yeah, they frequently are centurions living into their hundreds. What's that, David? Sure, you can't debunk a belief system, which veganism is. I guess that's a good point. Maybe I'll ponder that. Sounds like a good point. You can't debunk a belief system. It's not even a belief system. It's just a moral proposition. The proposition is that it's morally wrong to harm and exploit animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. Just morally wrong to harm animals. And it's something you either agree with or you disagree with. Like it's morally wrong to rape other humans. You know, either you think, oh, yeah, of course it's wrong to rape other humans, or uh, I like to rape humans sometimes, so I disagree with that one. You know, it's something you either agree with or disagree with. Good point. Frank, I did answer your question. I know some vegans that are pro-life, some are pro-choice, some ambivalent, don't care. Um, you know, it's they're all over the place. That's more of a political issue. Um, and vegans come from the entirety of the political structure spectrum far left middle far right you name it so it goes all over the place vegans have we don't all believe the same things we believe it's morally wrong to exploit animals harm animals for food clothing or any other purpose that's what vegans all agree on if you're vegan everything else is up for air up, up you know up for grabs i should say up in the air up for grabs Yeah, Roku, yeah. Telling Frank, vegans do not all think alike about abortion. There are pro and anti among vegans, just like everyone else. We, we're, we're just a small slice. I mean, we're a 3% slice of, of humanity, basically. All the spectrum of beliefs and cultures and religions are all in there. We're all over the place. We don't unify on anything other than it's wrong to harm animals. We don't exploit animals. We're against that. That's what unifies vegans. Everything else goes all over the place. Am I pro Olympic figure skater or not? I haven't watched any Olympics, guys. Yeah, Peter, I don't want to exploit humans either. Yeah, if I'm, it's like, yeah, I'm against exploiting humans, and of course, I'm against exploiting animals as well. Would I kill roaches in my home? I mean, if they were like taking over my home of some like crazy problem yeah but i mean typically we try to capture bugs and throw them outside but yeah that's not always practical i've i've admitted like in the summertime the ants if you live along the coast uncle walt probably knows what i'm talking about too those little black ants you see them on occasion in the winter time but you know you'll start seeing them again in the spring and summer and sometimes on the hottest days they're in the plumbing like you turn on the water in my bathtub and the ants just come right out. I mean, I'm not killing them per se, but they come out and go down the drain. Nothing I can really do about that. You know, as far as possible and practicable, not harming or exploiting. If they're coming out of the plumbing, you know, you know, it's what am I supposed to do? Well, Frank, yeah, you can. I mean, if they're taking over your home, if your home is infested and you can't literally go around and pick each one out, I mean, if you have to call an exterminator, that's, I mean, if you don't, your house will get destroyed or get written up by the code enforcement of your city. Um, sometimes you might have to. I've fortunately never been in such a position, but I'm allowing that's possible. I mean, this is, again, as far as possible and practicable. If your house is roach infested, I don't think you will lose your vegan um, status looking at the definition of vegan as far as possible and practicable veganism does not ask you to live in a roach infested home that's disgusting same thing with rats if you live in a rat infested home and i i can speak to this firsthand frank because about maybe nine 
eight, nine years ago. And that was more frequently, it was about maybe five years ago. Um, we had a, a compost bin in the front yard where we put fruit scraps, like my bananas and stuff like that, kitchen scraps. And it worked for a long time, like four years. But five years ago, it's hard to say, no, there's a rat in there. Open up a few days ago, oh, there's two rats in there. Oh, there's three rats in there. Next thing I know, oh, when I'm in bed, I hear the rats chewing in the wall. Like, holy crap, I got to get rid of that bin. And that's what I did. I removed the, got rid of the bin, threw all the bananas and crap away into the trash can. And sure enough, like a, a few weeks later, rats gone. So um, but if they're infesting the house, I might have to take more um, aggressive action. But I did what I thought was the most reasonable thing. Get rid of the source of the attraction for the rats. They weren't here before the compost bin. So yeah, there's things you can do. Yeah, they're animals. I got rid of them. I didn't harm them. But if they're infesting your house, veganism is not asking you to live in a rat infested house to up, uphold your beliefs. No, they're, you're, we're just regular people. No one should have to live in a rat infested home, Frank. So if you think vegans should live in a rat infested home, you have a, a bizarre definition of veganism. Remember, the definition says as far as possible and practicable. And if you, your house is infested with rats, like literally, like they're everywhere, you might not be able to remove them like I did by simply removing the source of their food. They may have something else that going on. Yeah, just don't feed them, Uncle. I, and I didn't feed them. I didn't know I was feeding rats that whole time. Well, not the whole time, but finally, once they discovered it, they took advantage of it. Rat man. <laughs> User, what do you mean it's not realistic to turn the world vegan? I mean, the world, um, you're talking about lab-grown meat. I mean, just because people eat lab-grown meat doesn't mean they're vegan. Vegan means that you find it morally wrong to harm animals. Um, if you find it wrong now, you'll still find it wrong in the future. I'm not sure why we have to wait to, for lab remains. It's like telling someone like, like me, if I said, hey, I, I, I want to be vegan. I think it's morally wrong to harm animals, but I'm going to wait X amount of years until I can get lab grown meat. It's like, why wait? If you find it morally wrong right now, it's like saying I find it morally wrong to rape people, but I'm going to wait three years before I stop raping people. Maybe there'll be some new technology in three years or something like that. As I'm saying, if you find something morally wrong, I don't see why you would delay it. Um, you don't need burgers. That's the thing. You don't need meat. You don't need lab grown meat to be vegan. You don't need, you don't need to eat meat. You can eat just think about it. most people are already user user are already eating plants. Just eat more plants. It's not like being vegan is like landing on Mars. You're already eating plants unless you're on a carnivore diet or something weird like that. Just eat plants. More of the plants that you're eating. Just eat more of the stuff you're already eating that's not involving animals. It's not that weird. All right, I think I'm going to start ordering that pizza. Yeah, let's see. Let me get that pizza going here. Got my app here. Yeah, it's been a long time, maybe a month ago since we got it. Wow. Okay. All right, I got to change back to use our home location because they were trying to find that sushi place the other day. Okay, fourth, here we go. Add to cart. Wait, wait, they're not open? Let me see what's going on. Okay, it says they're open. I tried to add to cart. Um, Shit, maybe I should give Angie the phone so I don't do it wrong. I was just trying to add to cart. Let's see. No onions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and let's see. Um, Do we want any additional toppings? We got a lot of donations tonight. If we want some additional seitan or something like that. Okay, let me add mushrooms. What what are they called here? Um, let's see. Um, crap, I'm not seeing the mushrooms. What am I missing here? Um, balsamic mushrooms. Is that it? Okay. Okay, so make sure I. Ooh, where'd my cart go? Crap. I mean, I better give you the phone, babe. I think I'm messing up. I think I'm getting nervous. Huh? Okay, don't have cats exploding. Okay. All right. Okay, let's see. I'm not saying I'm like a <laughs> sort of yeah. expert. Yeah, no, I'm just, I thought, usually I just hit reorder and yeah, it, w- it wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I have it right set there on the frailty. Yeah, I have a frailty, and I, for whole, I selected the balsamic. Oh, good, you did, all right. No, I didn't, but it hit it again because it disappeared. Oh, weird. Okay, whole. Well, they've artichoke. 
the mushrooms. Yeah, any any extras we want to get there? Um, yeah, I gotta have the mushrooms. Uh, since you guys were so generous tonight, I go okay. We'll get an extra topping or two. It has already it has already come with olives. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, it has roasted peppers, Kalamata olives, tomato, basil, the nooch parmesan tomato sauce. Now it'll have mushrooms. Okay. Okay, we're good. So let's add to cart. All right, add to cart. Did you add to cart? Oh, someone just bought a, a shirt or book right now too. Oh, sweet. Valerie, if you're watching, thank you for. Awesome. I, in fact, I need to go to the post office. I'm going tomorrow, so you'll get your order like pronto. If anyone wants to order anything right now too, it's a great time. Shop dot vegan dot org. Um, where is it here? Um, there we go. Um, shop to happy healthy vegan. And um, yeah, I will get your yeah. If you want your if you want to buy one of the new Happy Valley Vegan cookbooks, actually not that new. It's over a year out now. But we hey, will it's new. we will autograph it for <laughs> you. We'll sign it and everything. But I just left the link down there. But yeah, we'll be going to the post office tomorrow, so your order will arrive super speedy, speedy delivery. That's the sound of success. That's Thank the sound of order place. Oh, so what? What? How much time? Eight thirty-one. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, I see the order coming through. Okay, great. awesome. Thanks, guys. We're getting a pizza. Yay! I'll, I'll try to remember when we get home, not just to eat it like a beast, you know, just to He's take. Gonna eat it like a beast. I'm gonna try to control myself, show some restraint, and take a photo and put it up on my social media tomorrow. So you make sure. Put it here on the. Um community tab oh that's what we'll do the community tab you make sure you guys are subscribed have the notification bell on our home page hit uh we don't post to the community tab all, all that often maybe like it's been a while. once a month or something like that so we'll, yeah. we'll put a picture up there and show you guys especially hound solo's cousin who donated for like 90 percent of the pizza hound Solo's cousin. yeah i already did that awesome. once before too so we'll put it up there and um you guys can see so and i'll probably put it on my social media too um, on Instagram, let me. Sh I don't think they asked to please come inside for pickup, so maybe they won't bring it to the door. Yeah, I remember last time we got spoiled on them bringing it to the door. Here's my IG, my personal one, Ryan Lum oh, Rocks. There you go. Get some more followers, man. Yeah, follow me on on Instagram if you're on there, and Twitter. Um, I'm just simply Ryan Lum. Where is that? Twitter.com, Ryan Lum. Let me paste the link to that. I will. I will. Um. We will share this tomorrow so that we really bought a pizza with you guys' donations tonight. Oh, man, Molly was trying to get us to meet her at Disneyland tomorrow. Maybe Thursday. I told her that we were thinking about maybe Thursday to try the Dole Whip flavor, but that we didn't have a reservation or anything. Yeah. She's like, go tomorrow. I was like, oh, I don't think we can do it. We probably could. Yeah. I'll think about it. Her and Ryan are going. Okay, we'll think about it. Maybe. <laughs> we'll think about it. Yeah, we've. Yeah, Leah wants to see the pizza pics. We'll get you the pizza pics for sure. Oh, did we get another? Oh, Renee, Renee Juarez, you missed me again, Ryan. Oh, hi, Angie. Let's see. Oh, I missed you again, Ver. Yeah, seven minutes ago. I guess I was all occupied by the pizza. I was all nervous. Um, oh yeah. I said hi to you. What did Renee say? I will find it again and clip next live. I'll send it to you. Hopefully, you can click on this time. Um, yeah, when Joe had um. A journalist telling him that plants don't feel pain and that oh. the study he always referenced was wrong. So I would love oh. to see that, Renee. Yeah, oh, that wow. would, that, I can't believe we never saw yeah, that. Yeah, never one. even heard about that, Renee. So yeah, if you can. I'm shocked no one sent. To, you ask her if she could send it on Instagram, maybe, or Twitter? Yeah, Renee. Um, yeah, it's, you can't really paste URLs into exactly. the YouTube chat, but do you follow us on like anywhere on social media? Like, um, Either me or Happy Healthy Vegan, like, you know, on Instagram, um, Facebook, um, Twitter, anything like that. Because I'm, you, if so, you can message us there when you get the link and that'd be awesome. So let us know if you can send it there. That would be a lot easier than the YouTube um, live chat, which only um, allows me and moderators to paste links in, unfortunately. And, and our bot. <laughs> oh, the bot. The oh, bot uh, was crazy. Oh, Renee's a boy. Did I say she? Oh, I guess I was thinking like Renee, like Renee Zellweger like or something French like that. Renee. Yeah, or something like that. My bad, Renee. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Can't assume gender. No, yeah, Renee is a is a a name for any gender. Okay, yes, I do I tagged you on Twitter for the pizza you made. All right, cool. So you can message me. So I'm looking forward to, oh, yeah, perfect. no rush. But when you can find that link to Joe Rogan perfect. getting owned by a journalist about the plants, that feelings, love to see that. No, I totally wonder if he was like 
referencing that 70s book that's been debunked. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what his reference is, huh? Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm excited now. Pizza. I'm already starting to feel excited know, for I, the I, pizza, I honestly huh? honestly don't remember the last time we had the pizza. I know. You guys are awesome. You guys feed us. Seriously. I mean, how many other YouTubers do you know, vegan YouTubers, that you see... Like, you know, do a live stream and then they go and buy some dinner. I wonder. Could be live. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you know any others. Does like <laughs> vegan zombie do this or anyone? Let me know if you know of any others that do this. Because this is a co sort of common thing, you know. But for a while, they were doing it almost every Friday night. But yeah, we had to back off a little bit. Okay, Renee says it was that book, the one I guess Angie was oh, mentioning there. Oh, yeah, my friend gave me a copy of that book. Oh, is that the one we have in, right up it's there? Sus, I'll get it yeah, I, go grab it. Yeah, it's sitting right out there. Angie wanted me to check it out. Okay, Renee, tell me if this is the book or not. Um, if so, I'll read it now. If, if this is the one that Joe Rogan was using as his facts, how plants scream in pain every time a vegan bites into a plant. But, you know, does Joe Rogan get his lawn mode and does he have gardeners? I'm sure he does. screaming when they get eaten but not all the animals eat them. okay is this it renee the power of prayer on plants by dr franklin lower learn how plants are like people here is the amazing true account of the secret life of plants um and why do we have this book because joey gave it to me oh you're your your eccentric friend joey yeah i think he's being sassy you think he's being yeah he likes to give you like funny gifts <laughs> yeah so <laughs> If this is it, Renee, and I think, yeah, it was that book from the 70s. This is, is this it? Awesome. <laughs> no, Angie's not ready for a camera. She just got out of the tub. She has like a, a, a bath towel around her head. Um, okay, original publication. Okay, the copyright's from 1959, but the first printing was 1969. So it's basically oh, wow. a 70s book, yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Angie's not shy. She's just not camera ready. She was bathing. Well, when, it, when I started the live stream is when she started her tub. So yeah, yeah. she has. And I was like making a reel the whole time I was in there. She had no makeup on or anything like that. Just a cute little towel on her head and her jammies. Yeah, the jammies you got me for. Are those the birthday. BTS jammies? Or, or, oh wait, for Christmas or my birthday? Yeah, what kind of jammies is that? Yeah, it's like the BT21 characters. Maybe you could put your leg in frame. Da da da. Duh, Let's duh. see. Duh. <laughs> there it was. <laughs> there it is. There's Angie's um. There it is. Angie's um. BT twenty one PJ jammies yeah. there. All right. Oh. So I guess you're not going to be the pizza. I'll I'll go in by yeah. myself and get it. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, if you unless you really want to get out of the house, that's cool. But you know, otherwise, I have no problem going to get it. If you don't mind, that would be awesome. I will just enjoy that pizza thoroughly, guys. <laughs> Oh man, tough question here. Um, what? what podcast do I listen to? Hey, Joseph Michael, I listen to tech podcasts mainly, like technical computer type stuff. Well, you only listen to two podcasts uh, now. Yeah, I have like um, I'm mean, used to listen to Rich Roll podcasts. He, and it still gets downloaded onto my. Where's my phone? It's down there, by the way. Uh, but I've been listening to Rich Roll for a while, even though it gets on my uh, on my podcast app. Uh, I've been listening to, like uh, for years. This week in tech and the Apple Insider podcast. Yeah. I really want to know when the new Mac Minis are coming out. Hopefully March 8th, there's a, a supposed Apple event. I need a new computer, guys. I'm using a computer that was from 2013. It was really time for me to move on. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. Uh, those, that's my, yeah, I don't have, I don't have too much time for podcasts, to be honest with you guys. They're more of a drive time thing. We have the luxury to listen to like an hour or two of information. And how often do we have that? Only when driving, really. And when I, I mean, drive with you. sit here and listen to something and sit try there. to not look at anything. <laughs> that's know. impossible to sit there and it's not look. I want to touch my computers and stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah, when I'm with you and we go out on a long drive to the desert, you know, we're listening to music. You know, I don't want to yeah. see some old guys talk about machines. You know, I want to hear about like I want to hear some cool music for the drive. You know, old the, guys the talking about machines. like guys my age. You know, and yeah. <laughs> I want to hear some some cool Your new music. Peers. My peers, you know, <laughs> talk about machines. Oh. <laughs> Goodness gracious! It's nice and warm in here. Oh, Peter says, no matter what, I still bet you look beautiful, Angie. Yes, you are correct in that, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> I'll have to do another live stream. Angie's sometime. legit hot leg. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, 
think. What did I post today? I think if you want to see my face, I I am on. I think I posted some stuff online today. Actually, on my page, I just put beautiful nature. On our page, I made the real. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you're following Happy Healthy Vegan on Instagram. Angie was posting a reel about an hour ago when I started this live stream. So yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at it. Hey, oh, Heidi listens to more K-pop. Akmu and Big Bang. Know anything about them? Big Bang's old school. Old school. Check out v Vivi's. I'll spell it out here for you. They're, that's obsessed I'm obsessed. Brand new EP. I'm, I'll spell it out here. Vivi's. I just typed it down there so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm obsessed. If you know about, if you're into K-pop, you might know the um, former band. They broke up. They got disbanded um, earlier uh, last year. Um, G Friend, that's their name. And then uh, three of the six members reformed as VVs. And just Wednesday, I think it was, they debuted a whole new music video. The the mini album dropped, and I'm obsessed. I just can't stop listening to to um, the the first couple songs on there. The first four songs actually, and the video I'm watching every day, and I watch it every day. There's like a new live performance of it. I'm I'm obsessed. <laughs> So ch check check it out, so Heidi. You're not even listening to the brand new Jungkook yeah. solo. Yeah, I am listening. To, I've listened to that maybe Jungkook. four or five times compared to like Bop Bop. I've listened to that maybe twenty times <laughs> yeah. or so. But I still love the new Jungkook and Sugar song too. Yeah, Jungkook guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point, user. Yeah. It's, um, saying that our friend Frank here, um, nobody's gonna make you go vegan, you know, but you're starting unnecessary drama. I mean, cool. I mean, if you don't want to be vegan, Frank, that's awesome. Don't start drama. But if you have any specific questions for me before I go, because I'm gonna go pick up my pizza pretty soon here. So, Frank, if you have a question about veganism, like what what drew you here to this live stream? If you have a question for me, now's your time. Anyone too? If you have a question for me, now is the time. Um, user, what is my opinion of the band BTS and their music? Um, I said it before, yeah, um, I've seen them twice, you know, um, so um, yeah, I know a bit about them. I've been listening to them for a few years. Um, I don't like most of their, their big hits. I, in fact, most of the hits, the big hits from the past year or so, ugh, I'm not big fans of like, um, like Butter and Permission to Dance. Um, last big um, single of theirs I liked was... Um, uh, Black Swan. I like the more moody stuff, you know. Um, some my my favorite songs are songs probably most people have never heard. Like you know, there's songs that never had videos or proper releases, like you know, like a like a single. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you dig into their catalog, there's some really, really, really good music on there. Surprisingly so. And now I know why. The, the music producers that they work with on their label are, are top notch. So you know, it's no surprise. Um, like like G friend, I was talking about them. Uh, the same producers, they're on the same label for a while. Um, worked with them, and they gave them some amazing tracks. Anyway, let's see. Um, let's see. Any more questions before I start getting ready for the the pizza, guys? Um. Frank says, if you hurt the rats, it's not vegan. Um, Frank, you have your own weird definition of veganism. Everyone get ready to take a drink. We're going to go look at the definition of veganism. Um, <laughs> all right, hang on one second. Oh, the definition of vegan. Where'd it go? I lost it. Here we go. Definition of vegan. Let's read it to Frank here. Veganism is a philosophy and a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practicable. Those are two words to remember there, possible and practicable. All forms of exploitation and cruelty to animals, as far as possible and practicable. Saying, so which means this, if you are living in a house and it's infested with rats and there's nothing you can do, like me, I had rats but not an infestation. I removed their source of food that they're after like magic rats are gone but if you have a rat infestation and there's nothing you can do and it's causing you to live in a state of like an unhealthy situation rats spread diseases and all that um there's nothing nothing in the definition of vegan that says you have to let your house be overrun by unwanted animals that that cause trouble doesn't say that doesn't say vegans have to like live in a state of filth no, that's as far as possible and practical. It's not practicable to live in a state of rats taking over your home. No, you can do something if, if that's the case and you'll still be vegan. 
<laughs> I'm not trying to win, Frank. I'm just trying to tell you the definition of veganism. This is not asking you to live like an unreasonable person, as far as possible and practical. It's not practical to live with rats all over your house. But if you have three rats like I had in my bin, it turned into probably five or six. Remove the bin, the compost bin. Rats went away. Handled, you know. Um. Yeah, anyone else in the Detroit area? We had someone from Ohio on at the beginning of the live stream. I forgot the name, his name, his or her name. What's that Zeppelin? So would exterminating mosquitoes in their entirety be considered vegan since it would save millions of humans and other animals? Hey, that's that's a question. I don't I, I don't know how to answer that one there, Zeppelin. That I have no idea. Um, I mean, just you got it's it's an individual thing. If you have in, infestation of any kind of um, you know, animal or insect, you know, you gotta, you can't live like that. You know, it's veganism isn't asking you to do that, but I think you're asking like beyond individuals, like a, a statewide program or something like that. Um, I think biologists need to be consulted on that too, but yeah, I wouldn't be pro that or anything, but if you have a problem in your home, do what you gotta do. Let's see. What's that lore? Do vegans believe that killing is wrong? Probably, yeah, that's what we believe. Or is it the quality of life of the animal that they disagree with? Oh, both. I mean, think about it like this. An animal is, like, say an animal you eat, lore, is, um, you know, typically raised, unless you're out there hunting or something like that, which is like, you know, feeds like 0.05 or less of the population. If you're, you know, like a normal person that lives in an industrialized world they buy market food at market stuff like that anyway animals that you buy for food were raised into existence they weren't just roaming around a cow wasn't just roaming around no it was bred into existence just like dairy a dairy cow was bred into existence to produce dairy her entire life anyway an animals bred into existence being exploited the entire time it's alive that's why it's alive only so it could be exploited to be used to produce milk or to shoot it and take its flesh so you can eat it. So yeah, we're against the whole process of, of unnecessarily breeding animals into existence, keeping them in an exploited state their entire sad lives to be ended by being killed so you can eat it. So we're against the whole thing. Yeah, we're against all forms of cruelty and exploit. No, let's just read the definition again. I'm still on it right here. It's a philosophy. It's way, a way of living which seeks to exclude as far as possible and practical all forms of cruelty and exploitation to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. So it's the whole ball of wax of the whole thing. The unnecessarily breeding 80 billion of animals into existence every year so we can exploit and ultimately kill them. That's what we're against. Do you see how it's a horrible thing? Like, I, like imagine if we did that to humans. We raised, and that's like what slavery is like, you know, pre, pre, produce, you know, having humans be bred into existence so for their entire lives, other humans keep them under the control and exploit them for whatever purposes they want. You know, I mean, that's that's the same thing. We don't want animals to suffer an entire life of exploitation and ultimately be killed. Yeah, Uncle Walt, would you rather die or be tortured for your whole life? Not just going on, you're being exploited and tortured your whole life and ultimately killed. So you get both, actually, as an animal. Yeah, take another shot. I showed the definition of veganism once again. There. I just, again, I was this time I was showing it to really show Laura who was asking. And, and Laura seemed like he or she was asking a very sincere, honest question. And so I wanted to make sure Laura was on the same page, literally, with the definition of veganism. Yeah, we're against the whole thing. Breeding animals into existence, living a life of exploitation, and ultimately being killed, you know, because that's what the end deal is there. All right, guys, I think it's time for me to um, end this live stream. You guys have been cool. It's, a, it's an honest live stream. I thought it was only going to be on for an hour, and it's a two-hour live stream. So, um, yeah, I got to get going. I got pizza to pick up. So I want to thank all you guys, especially Han Solo's cousin um, and Renee and um leah leah i forgot about leah living that leaving that ten dollar super chat tip too so thanks so much guys i wasn't planning on getting a pizza tonight but you guys are so generous and you know um <laughs> we're gonna get a pizza and thank you to you guys for um supporting us and um buying us dinner tonight it's so awesome um if you want to watch again i'll be back friday
Oh, you liked it, Lore. Cool. I'm glad you liked my explanation there. If you want to come back, Lore, or anyone else, I regularly stream Friday nights, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which was like here tonight. It's 8 p.m., so two hours before right now. But on Friday, Friday, Friday night, I will be back. And um, yeah, well, um, I, I'm, I'm kind of bummed we didn't get the Joe Rogan stance, and I was really hoping they would show up, but they didn't. But, you know, cool. We got to hang out with you guys instead. I was going to be a lot of fighting with Joe Rogan stands, but... Um, you know, instead we got to have a really cool vegan discussion. And on Friday, I like to specialize in debunk veganism. If you think you got the goods to debunk veganism, uh, as um, Frank sort of was trying a little bit there. Um, anyway, uh, bring it on. We're going to invite friends. If you know people that think veganism is horrible and needs to end and they have great arguments, tell them to come to the Friday night live stream, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, because we will hear them out. We'll try to see if they have an argument and then respond to it and show them that veganism hasn't been debunked. So, Frank, yeah, if you have more questions, you can do some research, whatever you want. Come back Friday and ask away, okay? All right, cool. So um, I will see you guys then. So yeah, thank you, everyone. Thank my moderators, Uncle Walt and Peter, for keeping this, the discussions flowing and free of trolls and um, or, or just people here to disrupt the, the good mood and the good vibes and community that we have going on here um, because, you know, we like our community. All right, guys. So, um, all right. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I have any. Uh, I don't have any new videos in the queue. That one I released earlier today about Joe Rogan's anti-vegan misinformation of like five years and running. That was my latest vid. Next vid will probably be the Friday night live stream, guys. So, um, cool. Have a good night, everyone. And um, yeah, thanks to everyone, moderators, everyone. Much love to you guys. Peace out, Friday night. And um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember, we'll share the pictures of the pizza with you guys tomorrow. So, yeah, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Hit the notification bell. And I'm, I'm going to share it on our social media, too. Show you the pizza that we are going to chow down in a little bit here. All right, guys. Much love. See you guys Friday night, 6 p.m.